Afterwards. Okay, so welcome. Thanks for joining me um, tonight. Um, it's always nice to share Kundalini yoga with everybody. I think it's one of those yogas that people they hear about, they wonder about, and they're always really scared about going to a class in case they're drawn into some major cult or something. <laughs> it's actually a perfect yoga for now. It's it works fast. It works on the breath. It works on the movement of the energy from the root chakra all the way up really quickly. It works on the glandular system, the nervous system. And that's mainly because of the breath and the powerful movements that we use. So I'm not going to go bonkers with you tonight. Um, I did think about doing a Kriya, but I think the time is short. And to be able to show you a little bit of everything, um, I want to go through some breathing, some of the warm ups. Um, we will do a Kriya that you can use every day for three minutes. In fact, the guy that brought it over here would say, do Sat Kriya for three minutes every day, and it will pretty much set your energy for the day ahead. It's brilliant. And it's kind of one of the ones that I started with. And then we're going to finish with a meditation, which is the mantra. It's normally in Gamuki, but the mantra is I am, I am. And it's a meditation to bring you into a state of being. And I would recommend that if I, I'm going to, you know, share the playlist and whatever with you later that you try doing it, especially at the moment, if you're feeling a little bit shaky or a little bit out of it. I don't know whether some of us are a little bit more sensitive to that um, feeling than others, but it seems a little bit summery and a bit chaotic out there and everyone's nervous systems are up um, and everyone's a bit anxious again. So we'll do a little bit of everything. So Kundalini yoga is not about being bendy. It's not about looking perfect in yoga, you know, <laughs> leggings and whatever. It's about being who you are. It's about sitting with who you are and being, starting to peel back the layers of what we think we are. It really goes deep into the potential. So Kundalini Yoga is Shakti energy. It's that feminine energy right at the root of our spine. It's potential. It's everyone holds it. It's just whether we choose to use it or not. It's whether we choose to go on this path or not. So that's enough waffling from me. Sorry about the traffic outside. So I'm going to start just with a little bit of breath just to bring you in. But first, we're going to tune in. So with every Kundalini Yoga class, we tune in with the Adi Mantra, which is Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. And that literally means I bow to the divine wisdom within me. So it's about bringing your hands into your heart, either in prayer or over your heart center whichever is more comfortable for you and just bringing that offer into your heart and bringing all the parts of you together in that central being okay so I, I will chant it you don't have to um but just kind of lean into that wisdom within you okay so just close down the eyes and bring your hands into the center however however comfortable that is and just take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale, start to bring yourself into the space. Inhale again. Just make the exhale just a little bit longer. And then we'll inhale to chant. Om. Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo allowing that to resonate within you
And we're going to start now just with a little bit of conscious breath. So what I'd like you to do is still keeping the eyes closed, just keep your hand, one hand on the belly. And I just want you to start tapping into the energy of the belly, that navel point, and just start to notice how you're feeling. Start to inhale from the belly through the nose. So really expand in the belly like a balloon on the inhale and on the exhale, bringing the navel back to the spine. And just start to consciously be aware of your own breath. This is the best way to notice how we're feeling and, and be present with that feeling. This is great for the nervous system. starts to increase that flow of prana or life force just increasing that space inside of us that breath and because you're using the belly you're starting to activate the diaphragm often we all chest breathe so we it's very quick. The diaphragm is like a muscle. It needs to move. It wants to be trained to breathe properly. So really breathe into the belly and then start to move the breath up into the ribs. So once you're feeling that belly expand, start to expand the breath up into the ribs so you're starting to move the breath into the lungs the lower part of the lungs and actually see it as you're breathing start to see your body move and expand with each breath feel the release that it's bringing you And with the breath, you're starting to, with more practice, change those subconscious patterns of breath that we, that we use. And we're starting to change the chemicals in our body. Literally changing who we are. And then just start to bring that breath just a little bit further up. So as you inhale, inhale through the belly, into the ribs and up to the collarbone, like imagine like a cartoon, like filling you up with that breath and that expansion. Hold it briefly and then see it kind of release and bring everything back in. Once we learn how to do this, then we start to slow down. We start to be present with ourselves. We start to understand those feelings, those emotions. And then just let the breath go, put the hands in the lap. And just notice the difference between before you started the breath and now that you've completed that. Notice that stillness. Notice how there's more space within your body and your mind just through breathing for a few minutes. And 
there's such great practices to use during our day at work i know it's really hard to step out but the more we can do that the better our lives become okay so the next breath we're going to do takes a little bit of explanation so this is one of the most fundamental breaths in kundalini yoga it's breath of fire and you might have heard it in some yoga classes if you've been to other yoga classes that they sometimes do like bellows breath or kapalabhati breath which is like a forced exhale inhale it's a very powerful fiery breath breath of fire is not bellows breath you don't focus on the inhale you just focus on the exhale so I will show you, and it comes from the navel point. So you're like, imagine it like a Heimlich maneuver, like you're. So you're exhaling through the nose and the inhale should be involuntary. So as one of the yoga teachers that I love. I'm just going to mute whoever. Yeah, I'm going to have to mute Sorry, I think you keep unmuting yourself. I just can't because I'll get feedback and then it's just horrible for everybody. Um, so, sorry, where was I? So it comes from this navel point and this is our point of fire. It's our point of focus. So you're, you're creating that space. You're creating a little bit of chaos in the body but you're, you're kind of using the middle of the body to force that Kundalini energy up. So you're bringing it up and out, up and out. And you're really starting to pump the belly to create this fire. The fire is your focus, your commitment. It's what drives us forward. That's what the navel center is about. So really think about that when you're connecting. So I'll just come a little bit closer and show you. So you don't have to keep your hand on your belly. I'm just showing you because you'll be able to see the movement of it a bit better. And through the nostrils, it should be. So really imagine it kind of coming in and up. If you find that you're running out of breath, then stop because you're not doing it properly. Um, it shouldn't be, otherwise you're gonna over exhale. Sometimes people will breathe in more than they breathe out. It's not that way. If you find that you're doing it and you're getting out of breath, then it just takes a little bit more practice. And what I'll do is I'll send out one of the practice videos that I've got from YouTube. If you find that it's a struggle, just do the long, deep breathing that you've already done. There are a couple of things. So if you're on your, two, on your first two days of your cycle, don't do it. Um, it just, they just kind of warn against that. It tends to push the energy a little bit through differently. So we'll just start a little bit of breath of fire. So maybe bringing the hand on the belly so that you know where it's at. If your chest is moving as well, just stop, start again. So we'll just go for about three rounds, about a minute each. Just keep going at your own pace. Sometimes you need to start a little bit slower, like. That's absolutely fine too. So you're starting to strengthen, strengthen that navel point. You're starting to strengthen the diaphragm. You're releasing all of these chemicals within your belly. 
releasing serotonin, which are like really feel good chemicals. And you're shaking all the cells of your body up so that afterwards you're going to feel this real peace and stillness. Just take an inhale. Hold the breath and then exhale and just keep the eyes closed for a moment. Just feel that stillness. Allow the body to start to settle. Notice how the mind feels afterwards. Do you feel refreshed or is it starting to shake something up inside of you? Or is there a stillness emerging? So we'll just go for one more round and then we'll do some of the warm ups. Okay. So just take a deep inhale and exhale. And begin. And again, just inhale, just suspend the breath and exhale, relax, relax, just relax everything, let the shoulders drop. Feel the silence and the stillness. And you may even start to notice things in your body and that stillness, like a twitching and a quivering of the cells, the easing of the mind, a release of muscle pain. So you're really releasing a lot of brilliant feel good chemicals during that process. And you're expanding the lung capacity. So increasing that capacity for aerobic ability too. And it's just, if you did three minutes of that every day, one, you can have a brilliant toned belly because it is like doing sit-ups, but it's, you know, you're working on the diaphragm. So you're really starting to expand into the lungs too. Okay. So we'll start to do a little bit of movement and we're gonna start with Sufi grinds and I will play some music quite loud in a minute because I really want you to go quite deeply into your body. So Sufi grinds is a, um, a really grounding practice. And what we're doing with Sufi grinds, we're working the body a little bit like a pepper pot. So you're using the middle of the body and bring your hands onto your knees and come forward inhale and exhale so you're starting to move around in a circle inhale exhale inhale through the nose exhale through the nose and close down the eyes and go really really deeply I'll come to the side in a moment so you can see but I want you to really feel into the practice I'm going to shut up
center briefly and then you're going to go the other way so inhaling round exhaling back and really feel into every part of your body that needs some space some breath some movement Really breathe strongly and notice how you're feeling as you move. movement you're, you're starting to move the body in a slightly different way than we used to so it's grounding because you're working the lower chakras but you're also starting to move the lower part of the spine so you're moving that energy up you're releasing some of the tension that's in there you're also again releasing all of those chemicals as you open up the stomach you're opening up the chest it's you're starting to move the shoulders and you're also starting to feel yourself. You're also starting to notice all those creaks and cracks during the day that you might have not noticed because you've been too busy and we don't ask our bodies to move any differently. So it's a really nice one to start the day with to get you moving and maybe a nice stretch before you go to bed too. So the next one we're gonna do is spinal flex. So I'll just take my shirt off because you can't really see sometimes. So spinal flex, you're gonna come um, seated and bring your hands onto your ankles. If you find that you're tipped back, by the way, then always prop yourself up on your bottom just to bring your hips forward. It can sometimes put a bit of uh, stress on your hips. So let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. So you're gonna bring your um, hands onto your ankles and, and it's a little bit like a seated cat cow. So you're gonna inhale and bring the chest forward. So we're not kind of moving the head too much, but you're starting to move the upper part of the back. So exhale on the way back. So I'll show you from the side too.
So you're, you should be starting to feel it in this part, into the thoracic and up into, around your, near your bra strap and up towards your neck. But really strong breaths and go as slow or as quick as you like. Sometimes it's not to move more quickly. Start to really breathe and if you've been going quickly, maybe start to slow that down. Start to slow the movement and just settle the breath. Come into stillness. And really notice how you're feeling now. So these are just basic warm-ups, really. Um, you can sometimes, if you're doing it without music, use the mantra Sat Nam. Sat Nam, like mentally vibrates. So Sat Nam means truth is my essence. So you're just kind of, it just gives you a rhythm to work with, but you can go as slow or as quickly as you like, but it's a, again, another way to start the day pretty well. The next one is a little bit tougher on your belly and this is called stretch pose. So you're gonna come into line. Now, if you've got a really bad back, then I wouldn't lift your knees up. There's a way, I'll show you an alternative. So you really wanna start pushing your back into the mat. You can see me, so. You're gonna lay flat, start to bring your um, back into the mat and you're gonna lift your head up and start to look at your toes. It's a little bit like a Pilates movement. I'm gonna bring the hands to the side and then bring the legs up really make your whole body taut and you're going to look at your toes like a focus and then you're going to do breath of fire again if you're not comfortable with breath of fire then just do the long deep breathing if you get problems holding that because we're only going to go for a minute but if you get problems holding that then you can do this during it and that just takes the pressure off your back it just takes the pressure off you okay so we're going to go for one minute and I can't see you. So you can cheat as much as you like. <laughs> I hope you don't. I hope you, I hope you go for it. <laughs> okay. The whole body is taut. So again, just keeping the body taut, keep going. You're working on that navel point. You're really starting to work that fire and breathe into everything. That focus, you're starting to beat the ego down as well. You're really starting to work with that process of I can do this, I can overcome. Really go for it. We've only got about another 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Inhale and hold the breath. 
really hold it and then relax. Just relax on your back for a moment. Just relax. Totally let the legs go and just feel that power within you. Because that's what we're really working on. We tend to look so much externally for the things in our lives. And this is really teaching us what we hold inside. It's our strength. It's who we really are. Beyond all polarities, I am. Let the judgments and opinions of the mind be judgments and opinions of the mind. Relax there. And you exist behind that. Ah, so. Ah, so. It's really time for you to see through the absurdity of your own predicament. You aren't who you thought you were. You just aren't that person. And in this very lifetime, you can know it. Right now. The real work you have to do is in the privacy of your own heart. All of the external forms are lovely. But the real work is your inner connection. So again, that exercise, you're working on that abdominal strength, that fire. So that increases your inner energy and your willpower and the will to kind of succeed. But it's not like a power through beyond the tiredness. It's a knowing. It's an, an inner structure that's kind of indescribable, really. And you can only know it once you've felt it. So it is a case of doing the work unfortunately <laughs> so the final part is the kriya that I spoke about a sat kriya is a kriya on its own a kriya means completed action so when we do a kundalini yoga class we normally go through a series of um, postures breath meditations to reach a certain point so I always choose the meditations quite well to go with the theme of what we're working with um this is one of the ones that I started with to really build my inner strength now I suffered from Graves disease when I first started kundalini yoga and I tried to do like a little bit of normal yoga and I just found I had no strength so I started to do a lot of the meditations and this really, really built up this, this kind of soul power. I would say I, I kind of powered on soul power. <laughs> and it really built up that internal strength. Sakriya, the mudra is like this. So you remember when you were a kid and you used to talk about the church with the steeple? It's like that. So your thumbs are together. Now, they all say left thumb over right for women, right thumb over left. I think that's just however you feel called. And your hands are up like that. And you're going to bring them up by the ears, really, really tall, and really ease yourself into it. So you're feeling that stretch up your body. Really feel the power of it. If you find that it's too much on your knees, pop a block or a cushion under your bottom. And there's a mantra and it is Satnam, Satnam, S-A-T-N-A-M. Truth is my essence. And we're going to chant it from that point again. So it's Satnam, 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 Satnam. 
we won't go that quick. I'll, I'll play you a tune that will help. If you find you get out of breath, just stop. Ease off, let the breath settle and do it again. Try not to bring your arms down. This is really important. Like in Kundalini yoga, they're really full on about arm movements. But we hold a lot of stress and rage and unresolved anger in our shoulders. And it's really about overcoming that and bringing those two halves of us together. So we're going to go for about three minutes, I think, and then that should take us nicely into a meditation and a little bit of a rest afterwards. I really want to feel into the mantra, truth is my essence. This is your power, remember, and you're moving that power up to the conscious, right up. So, up pull up the pelvic floor hold the breath feel that expansion within you exhale bring the arms down really slowly and just rest there just for a moment it is such a powerful career Just really feel into that inner power that you hold inside, that potential. You can do that Kriya for three, seven, 11, all the way up to 30 minutes. But three to do that in the morning, just to set yourself up for the day is perfect. So what it really does is channel the Kundalini all the way up. So with that pumping of the navel, you're using that point of breath sat, to bring that up into the lower triangle, up, nam, sat, nam. So you're really reaching up into the higher chakras. And with that mudra, you're pointing right up to the heaven. So sat, nam, really strong, such a powerful, you're really sending something out into the universe with that mantra too. Okay, so we'll do 
the meditation. So I might be rushing through a little bit. I'm just really aware of time. Um, the meditation is a meditation into being. So the mudra moves from the heart center. So it's I am, I am. I am, I am. So the hand moves. I am, I am. Back to the middle. I am, I am. So by using that, that mantra, I am, is one of the most powerful mantras. And what you'll generally find when we use I am in, in a normal day-to-day -day sense, especially in the Western world, is that we use it negatively. We tend to say, oh, I'm shattered, I'm tired, I'm skin, I feel like crap, all of that kind of thing. So what you generally will find is with the first I am, the mind kicks in, but the more we kind of repeat it, so what we're doing is we're sending it out, I am, and asking the universe, what am I? I am, I am, and it's bringing it back to who you really, really are, which to me is that, with that divine spark in everything, just like the birds, the trees, the sunshine, we are that too. So it really brings you into that present moment. And because we're bringing it into that heart chakra space, it, it's just really, really bringing it in and clarifying that within our bodies. So we'll just play the mantra. We're gonna go probably for about hmm, seven minutes and see how we get on. See if I can connect it up again. Start. Oh, don't do this. <laughs> if not, we'll just have to do it. Spotify has um, kicked me out, so we will <laughs> we'll do it, and I will time it. It's it's trying to force me to do my own mantras, which I hate, but um, I need to do it. So <laughs> okay, so just bringing your right hand onto your knee in Gyan Mudra, and just your hand here at your heart center. And I want you to close down the eyes just and, and just leave the tiniest little bit open and focus on the tip of your nose. And you might find that's uncomfortable. If you do, just close your eyes, okay? So what that does is it, it really focuses the brain on that one point and it starts to draw everything in. It really brings us into the center of ourselves again. So remember it's I am, I am. I am, I am, and I'll try not to sing. <laughs> okay, okay, so closing down the eyes. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, 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 I am. 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 
I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. I am, I am. 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 I am, 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 I am. 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 
I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Just bringing the hands down onto the knees. And feeling that state of being, that presence again within your body. And feel that I am settling your heart, maybe with more positive words like I am beautiful, I am love, I am peace, I am powerful, I am myself, I am bountiful, I am blissful, I am. Just, we're gonna close out now with the three long satnams as we close out every Kundalini Yoga class. So again, just bringing those, all of those parts of yourself back into the center, either in prayer pose, in the Anjali Mudra, that offering to your heart or over the heart center. Feel what you've moved, feel how you feel. This has only been a very short snippet of Kundalini and it's always better in person, always. <laughs> but a nice taster. So just take a deep inhale and exhale. And another, just a little bit deeper and a little bit slower. And inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. And just knowing with that mantra, that truth really is your essence, but it comes from the inside. And this regular practice is the thing that will bring out your truth in the right way, without anger, without shouting, without even any outward motion. And just bringing your hands to your forehead and thanking your inner guide for whatever brought you here tonight and bowing down in gratitude for all that you have, all that you are, all that there is and all that there is yet to come. Thank you.